this is a poem, a piece of prose, perhaps more accurately, that I thought I would like to share with you. It's called Lockdown, and it's written by Brother Richard Kendrick. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and grey and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her number through the neighbourhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques and temples are still preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary, even if they're doing it in a different way, remotely rather than in person. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbours in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality. To how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that, yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how you live now, today. Breathe. Listen behind the factory noises of your panic. The birds are singing again. The sky is clearing, spring is coming, and we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch one another across the empty square, sing. Be still and cool in thy own mind and spirit, then thou whilst know the principle of God. Turn thy mind to the Lord thy God, from whence thou wilt receive God's strength, to allay all blusterings, storms, and tempests. And that last was a quote from George Fox to Elizabeth Claypole in 1658. Just remember, it's okay to breathe. It's okay to experience the new. And it's okay to find new ways of reaching out to one another, even if we can't do so in person and even if we can't do so by physical touch, we can still do so in other ways. I hope you find some of those ways today.